Breaking Barriers, Getting Gold, John Baxter Taylor in the 1908 Olympics. John Baxter Taylor was able to break the standard for African Americans that compete in any type of professional sport, but in his case, mainly track and field. He became the first African American that represented the United States in the Olympics that successfully won a gold medal. By proving that African Americans were in no way inferior to whites and were capable of the same achievements and more, his success was the beginning of removing a long-lived stereotype for black people who wanted to participate in sports. Taylor proved to the world that everyone can be equally successful no matter your background. During the early 1900s, racial discrimination was not uncommon. It was not peculiar for African Americans to be constantly perceived and even treated as inferior to whites. They were thought to be incapable of having the same achievements the average white man could have, but Taylor helped prove this incorrect. Slavery had been long outlawed in 1865, but segregation was still legal and very present. It was uncommon for American society to be integrated socially. Any type of education and even conversations that would connect the two different races, specifically between African Americans and whites, was not common. This type of behavior was translated to be seen in sports as well. Blacks were often booed out of games and races by white crowds or seen to be cheaters. It was rare to see an African American on a professional sports team or relay. They were commonly excluded, cut, and not accepted onto sports teams simply because of the color of their skin even though many of them could prove that they were worthy of running with the team. John Baxter Taylor lived in the Northeast region of America, yet he was still discriminated against and segregated, but his conditions were not as severe as they were in the South at the time. John Baxter Taylor was the son of former slaves and was born on November 3, 1882 in Washington, D.C., and attended high school in Philadelphia. During his high school career, he was considered the best quarter-miler runner in Philadelphia, says Femi Lewis, the writer of an article about John Baxter Taylor's life story. After high school, he attended Brown Preparatory School, where he became the star runner and considered the best quarter-miler in the United States. This was a large jump to having a successful career. Taylor then transferred to the University of Pennsylvania School of Finance. He went on to set the collegiate record for the 440-yard race. Due to some academic difficulties in 1905, Taylor decided to not run track. At the end of the spring term, he withdrew from Wharton, but returned to the campus that fall in the School of Veterinary Medicine, according to the Ivy League Black History. Later, he went to graduate from the University of Pennsylvania, studying veterinary medicine in 1908. Sadly, he died a few months after his world-changing accomplishment from typhoid fever at 26 years old, with no family to carry his legacy. Although this is extremely unfortunate, people that saw Taylor as a role model kept his legacy alive and told his story to many more generations. Because Taylor changed the lives of so many, it was known that he would not be forgotten so easily. In 1908, Summer Olympics were held at the White City Stadium in London, England. John Baxter Taylor competed at these Olympic Games with the IAAC, Irish American Athletic Club, and ran two events. His success in gold did not come so easily as he lost his first opportunity to win gold. This was in the 400 meter dash, a solo event that Taylor participated in. There had been a long and biased dispute between American and British athletes, so to avoid further conflicts, the Americans decided to boycott the rerunning of the race, depriving Taylor of his gold medal. Taylor, along with three other men, found another opportunity to win gold, but together this time in the 1600 meter relay. The 1600 meter relay is commonly known as a 2248, meaning that there are two 200 meter legs, one 400 meter leg, and an 800 meter leg. Taylor ran the 400 meter leg, which was his best event. After a long debate on who would run the leg between him and another teammate, John Carpenter. He split an outstanding time of 49.8 seconds. Taylor is said to have a specific tactic when running the 400 meter race. He would let his opponents run ahead of him at the beginning of the race, then chase them down at the end. This strategy guaranteed him success, and the fact that his stride was said to be about eight and a half feet, he landed a spot on the relay and was extremely successful. On this relay, he ran with his teammates, Nathaniel Cartmel, Melvin Shepard, and William Hamilton. An article written during the time period about Taylor states, it may be said that there is no athlete more popular with the Celtic Park crowd than Taylor. 
John Taylor was the only non-white on the relay and even in the club he was recruited in. His relay won the race to win gold for the USA. At this moment, John Baxter Taylor became the first African American to represent the USA at the Olympics and win gold. Taylor was undoubtedly one of the most talented and successful runners of his time. John Baxter Taylor made a tremendous impact on American society. His breakthrough impacted America immediately and for years to come, and both were monumental to the development of society. John Baxter Taylor, being the first African American to represent the USA at the Olympics and win gold, proved that no single race or person was inferior to any other, and in sports your ability determines your success, not your ethnicity. The African American community gained a role model, as Taylor had now opened the doors for millions. White people of this time period had profound thoughts and ideas claiming that their superiority among many aspects of life was certain, but Taylor tested these ideas and certainly proved them wrong. Sources say that he was undoubtedly the most popular athlete, much more known than some other white athletes in his time. Since Taylor was so well known all over the country, his success was able to reach millions and open the eyes of many Americans that all races should be treated equally and have equal opportunities. People became less discriminatory against blacks in sports and became much more accepting overall. Although many didn't change their views and personal beliefs of blacks, society became much more integrated between these two races. Despite Taylor's momentary effects, his abiding effects on American sports and society were much more impactful. After setting a new standard for millions, Taylor is now an inspiration for all people to join sports, especially track and field. He was an amazing precedent to have, as he was a kind soul all around. A fellow teammate described him in a letter, saying that Taylor was unostentatious, genial, kindly, the fleet-footed, far-famed athlete was beloved wherever known. As a beacon of his race, his example of achievement in athletics, scholarship, and manhood will never wane, showing his importance. Due to this influence on blacks joining track and field, today, track is one of the most diverse sports in America. Today, there is now a substantial amount of black Americans in track and field, but such diverse may not have been possible without people taking chances in the past and breaking an extreme barrier, such as Taylor himself and many more after him. Taylor's success connected the abolishment of segregation in America, as he is one of the many noteworthy people in history that led a movement of equality on behalf of black people. He aided in the beginning idea that blacks had a place in society and shouldn't be discriminated against. Today, all black Americans have all the same rights as whites. Segregation is abolished and are treated equally. Segregation was outlawed in 1964 with the Civil Rights Act. Today, with all sports, you can see diversity and equal treatment between races. Whether an African American made a team or played a sport now depends on skill rather than the color of their skin. The popularity of John Baxter Taylor shows how he had already begun making an immense difference in racial views when he was alive. John Baxter Taylor can be considered the best runner of his time, as he was the first African American to represent the U.S. at the Olympics and win gold, which most definitely broke a large barrier in history. He changed the standards of African Americans being in pro sports. Taylor rapidly became an inspiration for African Americans to join sports, and he opened the eyes of millions of Americans that no race is inferior to another. Although Taylor did not completely abolish types of segregation in his time, because of that fact that racism was still present after, but he was the start of a national acceptance of black Americans. He was majorly impactful for the African American community. Taylor was the first role model for professional track and field that they could look up to.